Joe Nesky, the Posh PA, and today I'm going to answer the question, can a PA become a medical doctor? What, Michelle? You talk about PAs on here all the time and becoming a PA, so why would a PA want to become a medical doctor? Well, first I want to say that in general, job satisfaction for PAs is quite high, and we enter into the profession really believing that this is our career of choice and that we are excited to practice as certified PAs. I will say also that we don't choose the PA profession as a backup plan for anything. It is its own career and we really want to enter into this profession to make an impact on other people's lives through medicine. So with that being said, is it possible for a PA to become a medical doctor? I'm going to answer that question in this video. But first, if you haven't already, smash the subscribe button right here because I'm dropping new videos every week to not only help you get into PA school, but become a successful student and a fulfilled practicing PA. So is it possible for a PA to become a medical doctor? The short answer to this question, yes, but Given the extensive amount of time, financial resources, and effort that it takes to actually become a certified PA, I want you to know that this is not a backup plan, nor does it give you an advantage when applying to medical school. That's right, there are no shortcuts for PAs if you do decide that you do want to become a medical doctor in the future. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you are a certified PA and you decide at some point that you want to become a medical doctor, you must apply to a medical school, you must complete a medical school, you must do a residency, and if you so choose, you can do a fellowship. Being a PA does not cut down on the time it takes to become a physician. You have to do it from the start. It doesn't minimize your, your didactic portion of medical school or your clinical portion of medical school. You have to complete, you have to apply, take the MCAT, apply to medical school. You must complete a four-year medical degree program and you must do a residency to go out and practice in your field to become a physician, okay? So being a PA does not give you any shortcuts in becoming a medical doctor. Now, why might somebody want to become a medical doctor as a PA? Honestly, I can't really answer that question very well because I don't really identify with that. But some things I can think of is that, you know, a lot of times as a PA, we are acting as a you know representative of the physician. Um, we are working as part of that team and maybe somebody would want that more extensive level of expertise and that, you know, massive uh, scope of practice and really being the end of the line for that patient care. That could be a reason. It's just that more autonomy and that higher level of medical education. And so that is a completely personal decision, but it's just important to know that these are two different professions and they are two different paths to take for training. One does not help you get into the other, okay? I have worked with applicants who have started medical school and then decide that it's not right for them. So you can also do vice versa, right? If you get into medical school and you decide you wanna be a PA instead, of course you can come out and you can transition, but you have to go through the same application process that you would as if you never went to medical school. So the PA application process and the medical school application process they're two different processes. And if you decide to do one or the other, you can do that, but just know it doesn't give you any shortcuts in the admissions process or in the training process. If you are in medical school and you decide you wanna be a PA and you come out, you have to apply to PA school just like everybody else does. You have to get into a program, successfully complete it and become certified. Same goes for PA. If you're a PA out there and you're practicing and decide you wanna become a medical doctor, you have to apply to medical school and go through the same medical training that any other graduate of a medical program is going to do in order to get your MD or DO degree. So is it possible? Absolutely it's possible. 
but you have to consider the amount of time, resources, and the financial impact that is involved when you decide to make a change like that. So I hope this helped clarify for you whether it's possible to make a decision to change, which of course it is, but also if you are gonna make that decision, really to put in extensive thought and time on why you might wanna make a transition from one to the other and think about your future impact on patients in your professional and in your personal life as it is going to take time and it doesn't give you any shortcuts hope this video helped clarify that for you mm -hmm.